Hello everyone and welcome back to Soren Review and today we're going to be doing Top Picks of the Week. Now normally Top Picks of the Week is on Wednesday, however I decided to make it uh, Friday because one, I didn't want back to back videos because I didn't have the time and two, I wanted to uh, react to Darlington Pain Schemes and I didn't want to wait, um, you know, too, too late. So we're going to be doing it to uh, Top Picks of the Week today. And uh, we're going to be talking about all three series, right? Trucks actually do race tonight, so uh, it's going to be interesting to see how they run. It's the second time they've been here since 2011. They raced here last year, and Ben Rhodes won that. So let's let's start off with the truck series, right? Now, even though Ben Rhodes won it, you have to remember that in that race, there was a late overtime restart between Ben Rhodes and Derek Kraus. If I remember correctly, there were some trucks that even stayed out before, so, basing it off just results is uh, kind of hard, you know, to see because Timmy Hill finished ninth. And no offense to Timmy Hill, but his truck, you know, doesn't have the greatest speed. So, I'm really basing it off of lap sled. And there were two drivers who did very, very well. Brett Moffitt, who led 63 laps, and Sheldon Creed, who led 82 laps. Now, I don't know if Moffitt's racing in this race. I don't think he is. Um, so we're going to have to base it on Sheldon Creed. So Sheldon Creed is definitely a favorite to win. However, I don't know if this is a running trend or not. But whenever a new driver steps into a KBM truck, they always tend to really perform well. Well, that driver this weekend is Corey Heim. And a lot of people have been hyping up Corey, right, for his success in the ARCA series. So it's going to be interesting to see how Corey Heim runs. Ryan Reed is also making his return. And Ryan Reed, uh, ha I think, has experience here at Darlington. So, you know, we'll see how he runs as well. Of course, he's taking over Rafael Lassard's ride after Lassard couldn't his sponsorship backed out. Too bad, too, because Lassard did finish sixth in that race. Uh, some other ones to watch out. Austin Hill should be very fast. You know, he, you know, can, you know, normally has a good amount of speed. This is going to be a shorter race. So, you know, we really, we really don't know what's going to happen. I mean, these truck series races are just, in my opinion, the hardest to predict. So let's go to the Xfinity Series race, and I'm going to base it off the two races that we had last year, which was won by Chase Briscoe and Brandon Jones. So looking at that first race, which if you remember was Chase Briscoe, Kyle Busch battling it out, they both led 45 laps. Well, neither of them are in this race to my knowledge, so, you know, we're going to have, uh, you know, some competition, more competition. So I'm looking at the guy who led actually the most laps in this race, and that's Noah Graxon. Noah Graxon led 46 laps in this race, finished fifth. And personally, Noah Graxon is hungry for that win. He's waiting to win, so he's going to be a really good pick. Justin Allgaier led nine laps last year in the first race. He finished third. So he's always a you know potential driver to run well. We look at the second race. Brandon Jones won that race. However, if you remember the end of that race, Brandon Jones was running when Ross Chastain and Denny Hamlin wrecked. Is Denny Hamlin in this race? Because if he is, then look out field. I don't think he is, though. I think he's in the second Darlington race. But neither, if they, but Ross Chastain is not in either race. So it's going to be interesting. So you got to look at some other drivers. Ryan Sieg finished the third. So you could always watch out for him. Now, Noah Gregson finished seventh. Didn't lead any laps. But, you know, he can be a real threat to win this. However, we also don't know how drivers like Daniel Hemrick are going to run. Because Daniel Hemrick in the, um, Daniel Hemrick finished sixth in the first race and wrecked out on lap one in the second race. And I know Hemrick's very, Hungry for a win. However, you do have to remember that a lot of drivers kind of... It's a weird race, that second one. Kind of like a weird crash thing happened. Like with oil and all over the track. So, you know. Again, we'll see how that race runs. Then the cup race. Uh, it's not even. It's not the Southern 500. Even though, oh, even though there's throwback paint schemes, right? This is the Goodyear 400. Which means there's not going to be the crazy... However many laps we normally run... Uh, how many laps? We run like 300 and some laps here normally. So, 
instead, I'm going to go to, and this is also a day race, so I'm going to look at the return back to NASCAR race. If you remember the race that happened when we returned back to NASCAR, that one Kevin Harvick won, I'm going to look at those results. And I think that's probably going to give us the most accurate, you know, results. Kevin Harvick won that race, and he actually got the most laps of 159. Now, Harvick also won the Southern 500 last year, so he's a real threat. Brad Keselowski finished 13th, but he did lead 80 laps. So again, going to be a real threat. Denny Hamlin was up front most of the race, so watch out for him. Chase Elliott got a top five, and Martin Truex finished six, and they were both running at the end of the Southern 500. Kyle Larson, now we did, he didn't race last year, and I normally don't like to include Larson because I don't know what to expect from it, but this is easily one of his best tracks, so watch out for him as well. He's going to be a real threat to watch. Another driver that I'm just going to throw in there, Eric Jones. Now, he's running for Richard Petty Motorsports. He won the 2019 Southern 500. Eric Jones is a dark horse. Same for Austin Dillon. He finished second last year. This is actually this track, Darlington, is his best average um, out of any of the tracks in NASCAR for him. So watch out for him. William Byron, right? Nine top tens, I think it is. He, even though he finished 35th, he runs up front very regularly at Darlington. He got the pole in 2019. So, again, another top driver, top contender. Alex Bowman led 41 laps here in the first race and uh, finished second. So, Bowman's always a good threat. Kurt Busch finished third. Kurt does need a good finish. He is, I think, 17th in points. So, he needs to start picking up the pace. Finally, Matt Benedetto has had a great string of finishes lately. Uh, you know, he's going to be, you know, wanting to keep that as he's going to have momentum entering into the race. And that's going to do it for my top picks of the week this week. Uh, you know, thank you so much for watching. Um, uh, remember, you can use code SORN72 to get free shipping off all orders $20 or more when you order from Circle B Diecast. Uh, you know, it's a great deal. Save like 5 bucks on shipping. Also, follow me on Twitter if you want, at ReviewSorin. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Goodbye.